my title is European Certificates for Easy to Read Professionals, because this is going to be the exciting outcome of our project, the, easy, the certificate for uh, easy to read validators and facilitators. Uh, and you know, uh, certification, it's kind of a C word. We must be very careful with uh, certification. Uh, it causes uh, a lot of misunderstandings. Uh, and since I am a quality auditor for ages, uh, lead auditor for Austrian Standards International for ages, um, I'm, I'm really sensitive about uh, making myself uh, clear, understandable to what uh, certification means. It's not a certificate of attendance, for instance, where you just get a confirmation that you attended the conference. We are going to receive a certificate of attendance, I guess, for this very conference. But certification in our, um, uh, in our community, I would say, of the ECQ European Certification and Qualification Association is that proper definition of all standards institutes all over the world, a third party attestation related to products, processes, systems, or persons. And I highlighted persons because this is what we are going to develop together, a person certificate. And an attestation means that a statement uh, is issued based on a decision following review that fulfillment of specified requirements has been demonstrated. Not, not a good word order, not, not a good uh, line for subtitling or for um, uh, easy to read <laughs> language uh, in use. Uh, this is the harmonized or the standardized certification, meaning that for a certificate, you need requirements. Uh, for an ISO standard, uh, you need uh, the consensus of all the more than 120 ISO members. They all use the same requirements, all the same specified requirements in that very standard. And, and that is true for ECQA and this project. We are going to develop the specified requirements of the skills and competences of an easy to read uh, validator and facilitator. Uh, why this third party is important? Uh, because it's not the only um, uh, certificate we can have or the only uh, statement. Uh, of course, yourself, you can do a self declaration. Yeah, if, if you are an, an expert in easy to read language, you are allowed to call yourself, of course, uh, 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 an, an expert in uh, easy to read. Uh, so that is self-declaration. Self you are the first party or a service provider rendering easy to read uh, language services can call him or herself uh, uh, an, an expert in that. Yeah. You can be called by your client yeah, an expert, or you can be even audited by your client, then it's a second party. Uh, and it's not independent because this is your client. Many audits of clients are way more challenging than my uh, uh, audits I'm doing. Uh, why? Uh, because a client can be very picky, more picky and more sophisticated than any ISO standard or any ECQA standard. ECQA is a third party certifying uh, body, meaning this is independent. I am not your client, I am not your service provider, I am not your, uh, your trainer, your training body. ECQA is an independent third party body rendering certification. What does that mean for easy to read professionals? First of all, as I said, uh, in our project and what we are going to uh, 
develop for your community is an independent third party certificate. So you do not need to be a member of ECQA, you even cannot be, <laughs> or you can be, but, but this will not mean uh, that you have any, uh, that you have advantages. Yeah? Uh, uh, the, and this issues person certificates yeah. Um, ECQA is going to issue uh, these certificates for experts, these two ones. And it's not a certified E2R validator or facil facilitator. It always comes with ECQA certified, yeah? um, easy to read validator and facilitator. Why? Because the certificate is always issued by one um, a certification body. Yeah, this is our ECQA certification scheme we are going to produce in our project. It's not ISO certified or EU certified. Yeah, it is ECQA certified. This is also quite important to understand that this it's make uh, it, that it makes a difference. For instance, in some uh, countries, professions are highly protected. You know, uh, in Austria, when you call yourself a psychologist, ooh, yeah, this is really very, very restricted. Or a business consultant, yeah, it's restricted. There are limitations and you need to have national accreditations and whatnot. In Germany, you do not need nothing, anything to do consultancy for companies or organizations. So that's very uh, different in, in uh, even in EU member states. So uh, we are going to produce this ECQA certified, easy to read validator certificate. And what such a European uh, certificate uh, means uh, for, for uh, our profession, it's uh, actually a revolution. It's, it's wonderful because for the first time, uh, also people with disabilities uh, with that European certificate are considered as experts. Yeah? They are certified by an independent third party certifying uh, body. Yeah? They can be hired for uh, assessments and consultancy services. And for the first time, there is a European certificate not issued by uh, an association or by one organization, but by, you know, a consortium, a committee, a job role committee we are going to establish during the course of that project. And uh, all these experts are considered as competent, qualified and at European level. So. The, the, the main point here, and my heart is singing, uh, it, it, there is no more deficit, deficit thinking, yeah? but appreciation for highly qualified jobs, yeah? for recognized professionals with or without uh, disabilities in the field of accessibility. And uh, this is not the only certificate. There is a growing uh, number of ECQA certificates for accessibility uh, professionals. Um, we have all these great uh, projects where you, uh, from ECQA certified digital accessibility educator to ECQA certified intralingual real time subtitler to a future ECQA certified trainer in inclusive distance learning. Uh, and uh, uh, last but not least, ECQA certified accessibility managers. So I think this is really good news and I'm quite uh, happy uh, to be able to share this good news with you. Thank you very much. And now Patricia, it's your turn. Thank you, Gabriele. And now Patricia, please. Hi, everybody. Um, as Oscar told, my name is Patricia Artal from Spain and I'm a project manager for training programs in Plena Inclusion Madrid. Plena Inclusion Madrid will lead these uh, next stage. Oscar Garcia, Elena González and I are taking part in it. And I'm going to share with you on what we will be working during the next months in trying to validate project. 
Let me see if I can share my uh, screen. Can you see it? Yes, Patricia, we are watching your screen. Okay. But it is not moving forward. Yeah, I have this problem all the time. I don't know why. Give me a minute, please. I cannot do it. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> I'm so don't worry, sorry. Patricia. We have time. Don't worry. It's fine. That's okay. why I was hesitating to yes. use the presentation note. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I ask you if you have any questions for Gabriel. I will take my time to uh, look for the screen. Okay. Okay. Then. Thank you. Okay, then just as uh, Patricia said, if somebody has uh, any question, I have a, a, actually one question for our uh, guests from Sweden, Stefan and Karin. Florina Gabriela von Katragen asked, uh, have you made research and discovered some main points in concepting messages for people who do not know to read, people with intellectual disabilities? No, Karin or Stefan. Could you repeat the question, Oscar? Yes. Have you made research and discovered some main points in concepting messages for people who, uh, who do not know to read, people with intellectual disabilities? I mean, I suppose that it's going, uh, Florina Gabriela, it's going about uh, if if you have discovered some, um, if you have made, made some discoveries about uh, how joining uh, messages with people who uh, have no uh, reading skill, yeah, how yeah. to uh, solve this communication problem. Yeah, we are working in another project at the moment uh, with, with people with uh, moderate intellectual disability, and some of them can read a bit and some can't read uh, at all. Uh, and 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 they can't write either. So, so the, the, and we are working with input uh, strategies because they, uh, many of them like to search for video content on YouTube, for example, and they struggle a lot when they have to enter the search entries by text. Mm -hmm. uh, but now we have started to use uh, speech recognition. So, so we, so they can talk the search entry into the search box at uh, at YouTube, and 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 we have realized that. Uh, a per persons who recently they, they sort of did the same search all over again. One one guy always looked for videos on penguins. Uh, okay. It it's happened to be that that was the only word he could spell. Actually, he was interested in a lot of different animals. Uh, so now he can say penguin, elephant, giraffe, and, yeah. and then and then he has expanded the the sort of the whole universe of of content that he can sort of access by talking to the technology rather than writing to technology. So that's, I, I think that's a really beautiful example of how different okay. modalities can be used. So, so he can sort of work on his strongest sort of field and, and not having to, to use his weakest one. So, so that's a nice example of how you can combine technology to, to sort of overcome difficulties or barriers because he hasn't he hasn't any barrier when he can talk to technology. Okay, okay, wonderful. Thank you very much for your answer, Stefan. Okay, and down. Let's turn back to Patricia. I think yeah. that you have solved your technical problems. <laughs> that, that happens. <laughs> it's no problem at all, Patricia. Don't worry. Please, your floor is yours when you want. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. I'm here again. I'm sorry. I will put it that way. So. Uh, I will explain the next steps in trying to validate project. Um, so uh, the goal of these states will be identifying and describing the skills and competences that the two professionals, facilitators and validators, should have to develop their job. And to this end, we will create uh, skill cards for both kinds of professionals through several activities in which all the partners, stakeholders, and collaborators will cooperate. 
And how are we going to design the skill cards? Taking into account the previous work done by our colleagues from the Politecnica University of Timisoara, we will explore which skills are required for both professional profiles, mainly in two ways, looking at similar professions related to or not related to accessibility and approaching and knowing validators and facilitators real practice. Um, there are other professions with similarities with our object of study and whether related to accessibility or not, they will give us some clues to define uh, the the, they will give us clues to define the validators and facilitators skills. For instance, if we are talking about uh, validators, we can look at editors of subtitles profiles. And in the case of facilitators, we could look at personal assistant for people with intellectual disabilities or job coach profiles. And beyond the review of these meaningful sources, we also believe in its practical side. So that's why we will ask different groups of validators over Europe to show us their work and to share their point of view with us. At this point, we will be able to create the skills cards for facilitators and validators according to the ECQA and the advisory board and the publication of the final versions of the skills cards and the report is expected to be ready in the last months of 2021 in order to start IO3, which will uh, develop the curricula by the hand of our Italian partners. So, so that's all. I uh, uh, give my congratulations to all of you and I'm open to your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Patricia. Thank you for sharing the next steps in which Trained Validate project is going to move 